process of sorting a project out and one of them is this one behind me so i'm going to show you welcome 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 if you are new here welcome if you are returning subscriber welcome if you have subscribed welcome and i want to thank you all for helping me build a community here and we are becoming a family you know sometimes i get interested reading the comments and responding to them so as the title says it is a building project which is a almost nearly complete 85 to 90 percent complete of a new build so we embarked on this project in april this year when i visited zimbabwe and um i did vlog my travel and in those travel vlogs it was talking about me living in the house in the morning and coming back at night this was the process that we were going on but at the time because it wasn't clear i was not able to really um i wasn't able to really discuss it at the time but where the project is now i can share and then we can embark on the journey together so I'm, at the moment i'm sitting in the garden enjoying an evening after work and um let's look then at the project so when we this um project the house or the property we can call it anything at this moment because it's not yet a fully complete house so maybe we would call it a project to make it easier it's um already started but since we left zimbabwe we were not able to uh, to be on the ground but we were quite fortunate enough to have somebody on the ground who has been helping us to outsource everything because the main challenge that we've got is the currency the stability of the currency in zimbabwe is very volatile it changes from one day to another so even with the suppliers the shops they can't really keep a price up on so you can't really budget to say I've budgeted for this and I'm going to be paying this and this is how much it's going to cost us. I do apologize, there's noise from children playing in the background from uh, our neighbors, but it's because it's a nice day. So that's the main challenge. So you can't really plan and budget because of those uh, changes, but we managed to have a look at most of the things that we needed. And then with the help of that um, someone whom we appreciate very much, so most of the since we left we have been managing the project virtually so it's like you get, receive a photo of how the house is progressing or a video or a video call and that's how i've been managing and hopefully every four to six weeks i will come up with an update but it will be mainly videos from the virtual uh, calls but i'm hoping that at some point i will be on the ground uh, to go on the ground and take an actual video and explain how far we've gone and also i'm hoping that one day i'll sit down and then i'll do a, a proper video of the whole process the pros and cons the challenges the obstacles and everything like that but when you look at it it's um it's very it is an interesting my lips get really dry especially when sitting outside it is a very challenging project and exciting at the same time because i always like things that are challenging i like challenges sometimes i know it's not everyone's cup of tea and i also like knocking walls and doing diys but it doesn't always go to plan sometimes you knock a wall down or you try and put something on it drops down on the wall and then you leave a big dent but that's life, isn't it? So it is interesting. So let's get into the video and I hope you're going to enjoy. So if you haven't um, clicked your notification button, click the notification button and you will be notified when another video uploads. So this video will be going alongside with our usual Maros at Home videos and I hope you're going to enjoy. So let's see what we are working with. So this is the project. 
object and through here that's the front entrance into the property and as we come into the front um, it's got an open plan so if we turn to our right no our left with the <laughs> so to our right this is going to be the main lounge and the main lounge also we have some sliding doors onto the veranda. Do we still call it a veranda? Oh, it's got a new name for this. A double garage. It's quite huge. A knockout garage with two doors. And then if we come back, and then for this little room, which is going to be a storeroom, but we might use it differently when the house is completed. And then we come back this area this is going to be a dining area and then in here this is a, a study this is going to be a study which we are planning on making like a play area for the children with a sofa bed which can be turned into a bedroom and then we come back So that the pipes can go through the wall outside to the tank. And then through here, we've got this small room with this tiny, which is going to be a storeroom, like a pantry. This is going to be a pantry. And in here, this is going to be the scullery where the dishes, just for washing dishes and storing dirty dishes. And then back in this place, this is going to be the utility area. So there will be washing machines, and then this is the outside door to the back garden. So it takes us back to the, come back to the dining room, and then in the corridor. a big space here which we are planning on making a linen cupboard or we put a nice dresser depending on what looks like there which will just be a toilet and a wash basin and then to our left this is bedroom number four bedroom number four with one window and then we come into here, this is bedroom number three. Bedroom number three in here, again with a large window, so there will be so enough light coming into the room. And then we come to the right, there's a corridor which takes us to bedroom number two which is quite light as well it's got two windows the plan is to move this wall back and then there will be a door there that will take us to we're going to make this an in room so this wall is going to be knocked 
and moved back and I'll show you the next room. So we come back out again. The main, main bathroom. So what we are going to do, this wall is going to be knocked off and then it will come up to here and then here is going to be the end suit and it will be, this will be knocked as well and then that's where the door will be and making this area and it's suit for bedroom number two. two. And then this thing is big enough to make a bath, a shower over the bath, and make a nice bathroom. And then we come out, and then this is another, another open area where we are going to, to put a quality, quiet, quiet area, sitting area. And there will be a sofa, the console table, a coffee table in this area. And then on here, we are planning on putting a door to make this area more private. And we come through here. Um, this is the main bedroom. So this is the bedroom. There's going to be some sliding doors there that will lead us outside into the garden. And then there is two big walls mirror windows. windows and then we've got this window which we are planning on closing or reducing the size because that's where the bed will be so you can't put a headboard and then close the window so that's going to be some changes in there and then we come through in here this is the dressing room so possibly we we'll put years and years one side i don't know but it will just be built in what it's in here and then still here this is going to be the main bedroom and suit but we are going to make adjustments to this window this window and this window looks different so we are going to reduce this one so that we've got too much in windows so there will be a bath there and a shower in this corner and that's the rest of the building so it will be a four bedroom house with two and so right. thank you much on the property there is an avocado tree we've got sugar cane and we've got some guavas i've just took this one from there what type of a tree is this one okay there's another avocado tree there and then we've got mango tree um another mango tree and then over here we've got a lemon tree and there's some lemons already and then we've got this a uh, berries like berries sweet like berries and then another mango tree there so we're going to make this area a very nice nice orchard and this is the property from the back and that tree there is going to come off and that one is going to come off this is the cottage for the house which is a three bedroom with a um, kitchen and the dining area and that's the water tank i'm not sure how many liters but and this this building will come off